Refutation of Obfuscation Part 2. The Truth Most Christians Do Not Know About Christianity, the Holy Bible, and Islam. Contradictions in the Bible God Almighty is all-knowing, omniscient, all-aware, and all-perfect whom He undoubtedly does not do any mistake whatsoever. Exalted is He, the absolute infallibility belongs to Him. Therefore, any book which to be truly called the Book of God must be consistent with itself and ought to be free from all contradictions and discrepancies. However, the Bible did not meet the criteria, there are numerous contradictions and scientific errors which cannot whatsoever be attributed to Almighty God. We will review some examples as follows. A. Again the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he, God, incited David against them, saying, Go number Israel and Judah, 2 Samuel 24 1. Contradicts with Satan stood up against Israel, and incited David to number Israel, 1 Chronicles 21 1. In which religion is Satan synonymous with God? B. In the book of, 1 Kings from 1533-16-8, is a story of Basha king of Israel and Terza who reigned 24 years and died in the 26th year of the reign of King Asa. However, in the book of, 2 Chronicles 16-1, it stated that Basha invaded Judah in the 36th year of the reign of King Asa. How come Basha invades Judah 10 years after his death? See so God came to David and told him, and said to him, Shall seven years of famine come to you in your land? Or will you flee three months before your foes while they pursue you? 2 Samuel 24-13 contradicts with. So God came to David and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Take which you will either three years of famine or three months of devastation of your foes. While the sword of the enemies overtakes you, 1 Chronicles 21 12 What did the Lord decree, seven years famine or three years famine? More shocking fact, through our observation, we notice that some Bibles still have this contradiction obvious, and some made a change to it. For example, the RSV changed the verse in Samuel to match the one in Chronicles, from 7 to 3. Yet, in the footnote, they stated that it is originally seven years in the GK, HEB. D. Besides their men servants and maid servants of whom there were 7,337, and they had 200 male and female singers, Ezra 265. Contradicts with. Besides their men servants and maid servants of whom there were 7,337, and they had 245 singers, male and female, Nehemiah 767. Was there 200 or 245 male and female singers? E. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. 2 Kings 24 8. Contradicts with Jehoiakim was 8 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months and 10 days in Jerusalem. 2 Chronicles 36 9. How old was Jehoiakim 18 or 8? A gap of full 10 years. Can we say that the all knowing God could not count? God forbid. F. But, he, God, said, You, Moses, cannot see my face, for man shall not see me and live and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen, Exodus 33 20-23. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as a man speaks to his friend, Exodus 33 11. In addition to that, Genesis 32 30, stated that Jacob said for I have seen God face to face. G and the Syrians fled before Israel. And David slew of the Syrians the men of seven hundred chariots, and forty thousand horsemen, and wounded Shobach the commander of their army, so that he died there, 2 Samuel 10 18. Contradicts with and the Syrians fled before Israel. And David slew of the Syrians the men of seven thousand chariots, and forty thousand foot soldiers, and killed also Shobach the commander of their army, 1 Chronicles 19-18. What is the real number seven hundred or seven thousand? And were they horsemen or foot soldiers? H. Its thickness was a handbreadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup, like the flower of a lily, it held two thousand baths, 1 Kings 7-26. Contradicts with Its thickness was a handbreadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup, like the flower of a lily, it held 3,000 baths, 2 Chronicles 4-5. How many baths were in Solomon's palace 2,000 or 3,000? 1. Of those whom thou gavest me I lost not one, John 18 9. Contradicts with. Dot thou hast given me, I have guarded them, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, John 17 12. The authors claimed here that Jesus, peace be upon him, was talking about his disciples. Does it ever not one become equal to none but one? J. And Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots, and 12,000 horsemen. 2 Chronicles 9.25 Contradicts with Solomon also had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots, and 12,000 horsemen, 1 Kings 4.26, what a big gap between 4,000 and 40,000 stalls. An error of 36,000. K. Shealtiel, the son of Neri, Luke 3.27 Contradicts with Jeconia was the father of Shealtiel. Matthew 1 12. Who is Shealtiel's father, Neri or Jeconia? El Psalms 102 25 26 and Hebrews 1 10 11 stated that the earth will perish. 
Psalm 78 69 and Ecclesiastes 1 4 stated that the earth will remain forever. Will the earth perish or remain forever? M. Matthew 1 6 16 says that, Jesus, was the son of David through Solomon, but, Luke 3 23 31, says that, Jesus was the son of David through Nathan. Regardless of this blasphemous contradiction, we know that both authors are confounded liars, because Jesus, peace be upon him, was conceived miraculously without any male intervention. As a consequence of this, will you still believe in the authenticity of the Bible? God Almighty says. Why do these people not reflect over the Quran and study it until they realize that it contains no differences or inconsistency, so that they can accept the truth of what you brought? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found inconsistencies in its rulings and differences in its meanings. And Nisa apostrophe colon 82. Chapter 2. Is Jesus God or even the begotten Son of God? The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. The Glorious Quran 572 Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who received the Gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, is only Allah's Messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word B, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is his. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of his creation. The Glorious Quran 4-171 Is Jesus God or even the begotten Son of God? Straight answer to this question, Jesus, peace be upon him, never ever claimed divinity. He neither says I am God nor worship me in any Bible in any version whatsoever. Yet, most Christians believe in the Trinity the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as three in one. Before proving the point that Jesus, peace be upon him, did not claim divinity nor did he mention the Trinity at all, we want to clarify the misunderstanding of the words the Father and the Son. The Word Son of God In the Hebrew language, the word Son of God was commonly used for the ones who follow the commandments of Almighty God. It is even mentioned in the book of, Romans 8 14, for all who were led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. It is further mentioned that Jesus, peace be upon him, said, in, Matthew 5 9, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Therefore, more certainly all the messengers of God are sons of God. In fact, the Bible stated in, Luke 3 38, Adam the son of God as well as in 12 Samuel 7 14, it referred to David, peace be upon him, as the son of God. Thus, the term sons of God does not bring any affiliation with the Lord, our Creator. It simply means one who is righteous person and has faith in Almighty God. However, most Christians overlooked it and claimed blasphemously that Jesus is the begotten Son of God. They quote, John 3 16, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son. But 32 notable scholars from highest eminence backed by 50 plus different denominations have thrown away the word begotten in the Revised Standard Version as fabrication, interpolation, and concoction. In addition to that, the word only begotten must take figurative understanding when it is mentioned in the Bible. For example, Isaac was mentioned as only begotten son of Abraham when he already had a previous son, Ishmael. Therefore, only begotten must have a figurative interpretation. Isaac had become the heir according to the promise of God. God's blessings would come through him. Furthermore, Matthew 28 19, was proved from reputed Christian scholars that the Trinitarian formula the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost was interpolated to Matthew's original Hebrew Gospel. And they said it was a lie against Jesus Christ for putting words in the Bible he never said. Another interpolation, it was in, 1 Epistle of John 5 7 AV, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one however, this verse was thrown away from the Bible as manipulation, fabrication, falsification, and blasphemous concoction into the Bible. God Almighty says in the glorious Quran. Do not say, the gods are three. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The Glorious Quran 4-171 The Word Father As for the misunderstanding of the word Father, let's have this verse which hopefully will solve the issue. 
Jesus said to her, Mary, do not hold me for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God, John 20 17. This verse clearly demonstrates that the Father simply means Almighty God this is what Jesus, peace be upon him, used to say and mend, not what the Trinitarians falsely brought forth. Jesus, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity here are the proofs. A and Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone, Luke 18 19, and Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God, Mark 10 18. If Jesus, peace be upon him, claimed divinity, he would not blame people for calling him good. B and Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, Mark 12 29. It is stated in the glorious Quran that Jesus, peace be upon him, said, And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. The glorious Quran 1936. See Jesus said, No one knows about that day and that hour, not even the angels in heaven, but only the Father, Matthew 24 36, as well as, Mark 13 32. Jesus clearly told his followers that no one knows when the day of judgment will come but only God knows. God Almighty confirms it in the glorious Quran. O Messenger! The idolaters ask you in denial and rejection, and the Jews also ask you, regarding the final hour, when will it occur? Say to them, the knowledge of the hour is with Allah. I have no knowledge of it, O Messenger! What do you know, the hour could be near. The Glorious Quran 3363. D for the Father is greater than one inch, John 14 28. My Father, who has given them to me is greater than all, John 10 29. E, I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, Matthew 12 28. I, Jesus, with the finger of God cast out devils, Luke 11 20. F, I can do nothing on my own authority, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will but the will of him who sent me. John 5:30. It is further mentioned in the glorious Quran that Jesus said to the children of Israel, Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood, I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who is born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mentioned to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. The Glorious Quran 349 G. Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord did we not prophesy in your name, and cast out demons in your name, and do many miracles in your names? And I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you evildoers, Matthew 7 21-23. This is a straightforward response from Jesus, peace upon him, for all those who claim that he is God. And they are witnessing miracles and a living belief in the name of Jesus not God Almighty the Creator. This is what Jesus, peace be upon him, will tell them. Amazing! God Almighty says in the glorious Quran. The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah. Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but He is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this repent to Allah and ask His forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. al made a colon 72-74 the misunderstanding of the verse before Abraham was born, I am, John 8 58. Regarding this verse, there are ongoing controversies and different interpretations. However, many reputed Christian scholars agree that Jesus did not claim divinity in this verse, otherwise, he will clearly contradict himself. The right interpretation of this verse is that Jesus, peace be upon him, and all the creatures were in the knowledge of Almighty God thousands of years before the existence of the heaven and the earth. Undoubtedly, everything was written and predestined that we are going to be here on this earth in certain time and place. 
Thus, it was revealed to Abraham the coming of Jesus, and was revealed to Jesus that Abraham rejoiced the thought of his coming as well, peace be upon them. Simply, this verse does not hold Jesus, peace be upon him, to be the Almighty God himself. The story is that Jesus told the Jews about Abraham rejoicing the thought of seeing him, but he did not say I saw Abraham rejoicing, it was revealed to him that Abraham was rejoiced of his coming. Yet the Jews made a mockery out of it as usual saying, how would you see him and you are not fifty years old? They wanted to pick up anything against him, but Jesus said, before Abraham was born, I am, meaning in the knowledge of Almighty God. It is clear and you do not have to go far away to catch the real meaning, few verses back in the same conversation between Jesus and the Jews will prove that Jesus himself did not claim divinity. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, 26 inches. He who sent me is reliable, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. 28. And that I do nothing on my own but speak just what the Father has taught me. 29 inches the one who sent me is with me, he has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. 42 inches. For I came from God and now am here. I have not come on my own, but he sent me. 56 inches your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He, Abraham, saw it and was glad. 57 Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? 58 Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was born, I am. At this moment, the Jews, as many Christians nowadays, misunderstood what Jesus, peace be upon him, said, they picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus, peace be upon him, as a human being who conveyed the message of Almighty God, ran away and hid himself, slipping away from the temple. However, it is obvious that Almighty God cannot be afraid of his creatures. It is a blasphemy against the mightiness of his. The misunderstanding of the verse I and my father are one, John 10:30. This verse is being quoted ignorantly from Christian pastors and missionaries for preaching, yet, it is out of context. As for the full context to be properly understood, it begins from, John 10 24-39, In the beginning Jesus walked in Solomon's temple, the Jews gathered around him and said, If you are the Christ tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name bear witness to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them from my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. When Jesus said, I and the Father are one, he did not mean that he and God are one in essence, making himself God, but one in purpose. However, the Jews as usual were looking for trouble and they accused him of claiming to be God. Jesus, peace be upon him, denied the Jews' allegation that he said he was God, rather, he distinguished himself from God. Anyway, the Jews wanted to cause problems, they picked up stones saying we stone you for blasphemy you are a man trying to be a God then Jesus answered, is it not written in your law, Torah? I said you are gods? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, do you then say of him whom the God consecrated and sent into the world? You are being blaspheming? Because I said I am the Son of God? The answer was not satisfied to the Jews, because they want to harm him anyway, so they tried to arrest him and Jesus, peace be upon him, ran away. Many Christians nowadays misunderstood what Jesus said and believe that he is claiming divinity, however. Even Roman Catholic Church's prestigious Pontifical Biblical Commission has rejected this common interpretation and do not believe Jesus therein claimed to be God. The misunderstanding of the verse I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14 6. As for, John 14 6, no one comes to the Father except through me, it referred to his teaching which is the way and the truth, not worshipping him. Jesus never ever said worship me, rather, he said our God is one whom he must be worshipped. It is stated in, John 8 31 to 32. For the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Undoubtedly, Jesus' teaching is the truth and the way, no one can deny it. He came to the children of Israel with before, which is the monotheism. God Almighty sent down revelations through his prophets, by the archangel Gabriel, to be followed, because no one could reach God except through their teachings. God Almighty does not talk directly to people, so he sent these mighty prophets and messengers to teach mankind how to worship God, and the requirements he wants from them. God Almighty says in the glorious Quran. So do you think, O people, that I created you as a plaything without any wisdom, so that there will be no reward or punishment as with animals? And that you will not return to me on the day of judgment for the reckoning and recompense? al Muminun 23, 115. Does man think that Allah will leave him neglected without imposing any laws on him? Was this human being one day not a drop of sperm spilt into the womb? Thereafter he was a piece of coagulated blood. Then Allah created him and made his form proportionate. Then he made his species into two types, male and female. 
is not the one who created man from a drop, then a clot, able to give life once again to the dead for the reckoning and recompense? Indeed, he is able to do so. al Kiyama, 75, 36-40 And I did not create the heavens or the earth in vain, but rather I created them out of complete wisdom to prove the power of Allah and so that he is obeyed in them. That is the belief of those who deny the truth who believe they were created in vain. So woe to these disbelievers who believe this from the fire of hell on the day of judgment, when they die on the disbelief and bad opinion of Allah they are upon. Sod, 38, 27 Those who commit disbelief and sins through their limbs think I will make them in reward like those who brought faith in Allah and did good deeds, making them equal in this life and the hereafter. Wretched is this judgment of theirs. al Hatsia, 22 And I did not create the heavens, the earth and everything between it in jest and amusement. I only created it due to a profound wisdom, but the majority of idolaters do not know that. Add Dukan, 38-39 So, if God Almighty created us with purpose, what is that purpose then? The answer comes from God Himself. And indeed, I have not created the jinns and mankind except to worship me, the glorious Quran 5156. Consequently, God Almighty the Creator sent His messengers to teach us the right way of worshipping Him, and all of them conveyed the same message as we mentioned before. God Almighty says in the glorious Quran, he has ordained for you religious matters similar to what I instructed Noah to convey and act on and what I have revealed to you, O Messenger. He has ordained for you similar to what I instructed Abraham, Moses and Jesus to convey and act on. The gist of this is, uphold the religion and leave out division therein. What you call the idolaters towards, such as the declaring the oneness of Allah and leaving out the worship of others besides Him, is difficult for them. Allah chooses whichever of His servants He wills and guides them to His worship and obedience and He guides to Him those of them who return to Him by repenting from their sins. The Glorious Quran 42:13. Furthermore, to erase the doubt, God Almighty says in the Glorious Quran. And I have not sent before you, O Messenger, any messenger except that I reveal to him that there is no true God except me, so worship me alone and do not associate any partner with me. The idolaters said, Allah has taken the angels as daughters. Pure and exalted is Allah from the lie they say. The angels are in fact the servants of Allah, honored by him and close to him. The Glorious Quran 21:25-26. Moreover, God Almighty says in the glorious Quran. We had sent to every previous nation a messenger instructing his nation to worship Allah alone, and leave the worship of others beside him such as idols. Satans etc. Some of them were guided by Allah and had faith in him, while others rejected Allah and went against his messenger so he did not guide them and they deserved misguidance. So travel through the earth to see for yourselves what the end result of the deniers was after the punishment and destruction came upon them. A nail colon 36. The Glorious Quran 1636 Thus, for every single nation their prophet was the way to worship God, by following his teachings. In the time of Noah, he was the way. In the time of Abraham, he was the way. In the time of Jonah, he was the way. In the time of Moses, he was the way. In the time of Jesus, he was the way. And finally, in the time of Muhammad, this is his dispensation, his teaching is the only way because he is the last messenger from God Almighty to all mankind.